All right, let's uh, go to Eli. Eli right. joining us on the telephone lines here on the Sunday Forum. Go ahead, Eli. Good morning, good morning. Uh, how are you guys? Good, good. How, are you? how are you? How are you doing? Um, in the reference to the uh, COVID, the shock, um, I haven't gotten mine yet, and it's not for selfish reasons. The reason is because I really don't know what's in there. And I think it's my, my right, and um, I respect um, mankind, I respect people, you know what I mean? Uh, Yeah, he's still there, Eli. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Keep going. We lost you for a second there. Keep going. Oh, um, but it's just that I really don't feel comfortable with um with what with what the government is offering us. Am I a bad guy? I don't think so. I, I just think that um that also the government is um uh, or the powers that be are trying to divide us from those who have taken a shot and those who have not. I think we need to come together and really talk about this. I think it's just another way to divide, you know? And um, if we could just uh, develop something, maybe, um, uh, who knows? But if we could develop a, a, a forum to talk about this and um, really understand what's going on. Maybe we need a, a uh, separate... Um, testing facility to test the people and to test what um what the shots are doing to the people who knows maybe it's a good thing i don't know but i don't want to be a, be a victim am i a bad guy that's the question well, it's not about being a bad guy. I don't think yeah, I wouldn't it. say a bad guy, but I mean, those of you who haven't gotten vaccinated, it's I don't, I don't know how to word. We this definitely got to talk about it because you yeah. know, we you said people feel divided, but this is a real issue. A lot of parents don't want to send their kids, for instance, back to school if there's no mask mandate, and if you just leave it up to individuals to make their own decisions on a mask in a public setting like that, like a school, they'll get then sick. They're gonna get sick. You gotta have to expect some illnesses. So we do have to talk about it. That much I agree with. We have to talk about it. We got to talk fast. Fall is coming, and school is going to be our test. Mm -hmm. I agree. I, I agree with you 100%. Um, and, 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 and I want to make one more point. And um, if, you have, if you have a moment, I'd like to switch this topic to back to what you are talking about earlier. Well, with respect to... Oh, taking a knee is that, you know, your freedom of speech. Oh, yeah, 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 sure, please. Mm -hmm. You know, your freedom to not speak uh, is included. And and I, I think it's really alarming um, since you brought in, I also linked to uh, four articles on the variant not being stopped by the vaccines, the COVID uh, so-called vaccines. But um, this relates to uh, the White House folks, Lady Saki, um, White House Press Secretary Saki, saying that they're working with social networks to not allow, and uh, you know, SMS text messages to, to screen messages. And so because people are giving out uh, dangerous information, she says. So, you know, oh. it seems like they- WMNF want... Sunday Forum. Oh, one second. Oh. One second. Go ahead. Okay. Are you there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So they're trying to form dependency on government for information. And, uh, you know, the FDA is just releasing um, the, what they've received, the data they've received from the pharma companies. But, you know, just a couple of days ago, Saki also said that these so-called vaccines are FDA tested with a gold standard of the FDA and they're approved. And that is a lie because they are emergency use authorization and they are not going to be, uh, they're not scheduled to that the, these phase three clinical trials, this mass experiment where you're an unpaid subject will not end until 2023. Saki is a liar and I don't think that's okay. I don't know what you think about that, but um, it, and there's so much more I could say, but uh, that, that should just stop you right in your tracks and say our government's becoming a banana republic. Well, <laughs> <laughs> 
Who you go do? Who you go trust though? Who you go believe? Are you gonna believe right. scientists? It's not about the government. It's about scientists because, from what I understand, several states scaling back reporting on COVID nineteen this month, just as cases across the country tripled with the Delta variant variant of the virus spreading quickly among the unvaccinated. This is a resurgence of the unvaccinated. So, you know, say what you want about vaccines, but so far they're working. So far, there's not the mass deaths that we saw a year ago. There's not the mass hospitalization except what's resurging now from those who are unvaccinated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot now. And uh, I just think these people are being very selfish. Not getting vaccinated. Well, let, let me let me give another let me give another perspective of that. All right, go ahead, Chris. Yeah, Chris. Well, following up on what he said, um, I'm not selfish either. Well, actually, I am. I like myself. I like my genetics the way they are. <laughs> I don't want them to be changed. I do not want to have the twenty mechanisms of injury of the spike protein. If you'd like to do a search on that. 20 methods of injury of the spike protein that are being replicated in the recipients of the injection. I like that I am immune to uh, 23 variants, um, article that's uh, titled uh, Science Identify, well, based on a, linking to a study, the article, Scientists Identify Natural SARS CoV-2 Super Immunity Against 23 Variants, dated July 5th in News Medical Life Sciences, uh, also, um, they found that natural immunity lasts at least eight months. The uh, study dated February 5th, entitled Immunological Memory to SARS-CoV-2 assessed for up to eight months after infection. And uh, I hope that you would like to do some research before you comment on one selfishness. The links that I had already mentioned on the Facebook Live video shows that it's about 40% of the non or of the vaccine recipients with COVID shots are coming down with COVID. So that's about a coin toss. And so for those are four articles that I linked to. So if you would like to reference those, I'm sure that your audience would enjoy them. But if I'm wrong or if any of those articles are wrong, factually wrong, let me know because I need to be stopped. But if I'm right, pharma <laughs> needs to be stopped. And just like mosaic, they cause the sickness, sell a false solution. Then you worship them instead of trusting yourself, and then you attack other people. That can be very dangerous because you have people like Kathleen Sebelius at HHS saying that people shouldn't be allowed to work unless they get the shot. Or Fauci saying that he's now for local mandate or Prime Minister Macron in France on Bastille Day last week saying, announcing that the French are no longer allowed to work or shop without getting the shot. That's the mark of the beast. You gotta that's see more of that. That's yeah. not the mark of the beast though. I would go there because that's, that's, that's part of the ignorance. And when you use those kinds of terminologies, that's what's getting people, that's what's shutting a lot of people's intelligence scare down. People, that people. they feel like this was uh, self-fulfilling. This was a, a prophecy anyways, that, you know, we were going to live in the time of the mark of the beast and everybody who gets it and don't get it. To, you know, we're going to have man. to talk about it. We're going to have, you got to see more of that. People are going to be segregated based on whether or not they got vaccinated. It's just the way it's going to be. Like it or we're not. not. I get, listen, man, I, I hear people all the time. Uh, going back and forth, getting all mad and everything. Now, now, mind you, you know, <laughs> going back to school is going to be tough because I, I would hate to see where they say you are, you have to be vaccinated if you don't, you know, if you in order to go back to school, right? And if you don't do it, you're going to lose your job. You hate to see situations like that, man. Uh, unfortunately, you know, it, uh, certain job situations require you to have to be vaccinated um that's that's what we know that's how we operate this is what it is to be able to wait and 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 find out if something better is going to come along um you know let me tell you there's some there is some there's something to be said for that i mean when i say that i mean that that's 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 not illogical and the reason it's not illogical is because 
we do have pre, -con you know, people have pre-existing conditions that need to be that need to be analyzed first before they take these medicate this uh, this vaccine, right? I'm not saying don't get the vaccine if you don't want to. That's up to you entirely. But I am saying make sure, please, to to know what your pre-existing conditions are, so that you can you can analyze carefully what vaccine is best for you. And plus, you could do your own study. You, yeah. And uh, if you don't trust anybody, then that's nothing that nobody can do about that. Yeah. But you could do your own study. You know, they, the idea of the Moderna vaccine, uh, for instance, talks about the messenger RNA. Well, to me, that felt safer to me to, to get because it's going to base its treatment in your inside your body based on the messages that's already existing in your RNA. So it seemed safer in terms of the science. But, you know, everybody has their own reasons for doing or not doing what they do. We got life on the phone. All right, all right. Yeah, but my thing is, oh, sorry. Yes, now go ahead, make your comment. Omega. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say that my thing is, is, yeah, it's fine if you don't want to take the vaccine. But I mean, just have respect for others and wear your mask. People who haven't been vaccinated, not going out, not wearing their mask, I think is really just uncalled for. Well, people who've been vaccinated should also wear yeah, their masks. Yeah, they, they should. They should because I've been doing that. I wear it all the time. I don't right. care where I go. But yes, just, just wear your mask and, and just respect other people. That's all I'm saying. Go ahead, Life. Uh, but the, this whole idea about colonial virus and vaccines and uh, masks and what have you, it's something insanely hypocritical or both insane and hypocritical. Uh, uh, this notion, about this notion coming from people who walk around uh, obese, hypertensive, diabetic, uh, vitamin D deficient, uh, not, not to mention all the other vitamins uh, uh, of which uh, people are deficient, mineral deficient, uh, chronically dehydrated, uh, 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 under-rested, um, who, on top of all those things, consume processed food, fast food, uh, uh, artificial uh, stuff uh, that they call food, uh, you know, uh, uh, chips and color, uh, something like yellow, red, number five, all this stuff that uh, that colors in it and what have you, and um, uh, and, and then turn around and, and, and act like uh, this, this sickness is other people's fault or uh, something like that. I, I don't have a, I, I will never get a vaccine. And uh, I, I, I have not, I can't even remember the last time I've been sick. Uh, I won't get a vaccine. I won't force that kind of thing on my children. And uh, I don't feel responsible at all for people who choose to walk around unhealthy. Who, uh, who don't do all the stuff that they should do to be healthy, to maintain a healthy immune system every day, uh, and then want to turn around and, and uh, be uber critical of a person like myself who spends tons of uh, money and lots of time at making sure that I can maintain a healthy immune system without the, uh, the guesswork assistance of uh of uh some uh outside intervention uh uh, uh some uh, mythologic, mythological stuff these people call medicine and so uh, the conversation ought to be a thing uh that you know uh people should be healthy from the inside out especially people you know intelligent people who like to call in all the time and talk about you know you gotta you know do the work from the inside well that goes for your immune system and your health too the work starts on the inside. You can't. I mean, it's, it's, it's absolutely r ridiculous uh, to believe that you can, uh, you know, forego your responsibility as a human being to get uh, proper nutrition every day, proper rest every day, and avoid all of the, uh, the, the stuff that they pass off as food. Uh, like I said, processed foods, artificial this and that. Uh, sodas and candies and and uh, all this other stuff that people like to eat and, uh, and and do that stuff and then turn around and, and tell people like myself who <laughs> you know do the work that I should wear the damn mask because so so the people who uh, live to be sick uh, won't get sick. There's some it's a problem with that. And so I just I just want to put it out there because uh, 
you know, um, because it keeps us being lazy and keeps us dependent uh, on other people to take care of ourselves as opposed to us doing the hard work and eliminating the guesswork. Because there ain't no guesswork about what vitamins, minerals, uh, amino acids, uh, uh, omega-3 fatty acids, and proper hydration does for the body. Ain't no guesswork. That. It's been working for millennia. Uh, this this uh, vaccine that people have been taking for the past six months, we don't know how it works, if it works, uh, and, and, and if it does work, what it does do. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what all the people who took this stuff will look like in the next 10 years. You know, um, mm. there's it, it, something tricky about this idea that uh, they're going to give you the, the, the vaccine for free. It's like the, when the colonizer gave, you know, killed all the buffalo, made it cold for the Indians, the men, so-called Indians, the indigenous people, and then gave them blankets. And then said, hey, take two. <laughs> and now uh, the only ones left were the ones who didn't take the blankets. So, yeah. uh, that was during warfare, period, pure and simple, <laughs> when he went after the Native Americans with that. But, uh, you know, you should always take care of yourself, but, you know, immune systems, you know, and nutrition and all of that still is is irrelevant when it comes to a virus. You know, you yeah. can't really plan for that, you know. And even if you unleash the virus, you don't know where it's going to go and what it's going to do. And who is going to affect? So as far as I'm concerned, you know, yeah, you have to take care of yourself. You have to take care. Of, you have to practice everyday health. But when it comes to a virus, this is free. The vaccines were free because it was an emergency. It was a pandemic. It is a health emergency. And when there is an emergency, governments will buy up vaccines when they're developed from the companies that produce them and distribute them freely to everybody. That's not unusual, that's the way it's done. Otherwise, we'd all have to have, it would be just the rich and the well-off who got vaccines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we'll see how I look in 10 years, I guess. Since <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, there's laughs> I, I got both the doses. You gotta look 10 years older. I can tell you that right now. Go ahead, Jeff. Jeff is on the phone calling yeah. us. Hello, uh, just a, a couple of comments real quick. Um, given the fact that we have been lied to over and over again by the government and by big business and big pharma, going back to the whole thalidomide uh, baby thing back in the 50s or back in the 40s when doctors uh, prefer camels over any other cigarettes, okay? I am not prepared to go out and stick a uh, shot into my arm that's going to be with me the rest of my life. Okay, I, it just, it ain't gonna happen, man, because they've lied to me too many times. Now, I'm happy to wear my mask. You know, I wear it everywhere I go when I'm out, but I can take that mask off when I come in. Okay, once I take that shot, that's with me, and it ain't gonna go away. And that's my comment. Uh, thank you very okay. much. Yes, a lot of vaccine uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> A lot of people against the vaccine, I see. Yeah, out of fear. Yeah, you know, it's the same country that does... You know, hard drugs, you know, out of, you know, you know, people put all kinds of hard drugs. I'm, I'm it's just amazed at the type of drugs that, that keeps getting developed and people keep getting addicted to. Oh, and, 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 and there, there are side effects. Yeah. To all these well, drugs, I mean, right? There's <laughs> side effects to everything. But yeah. wait, 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 illicit drugs. <laughs> but, but wait, here's the thing. They give you this medicine, right? To what, what Life was saying earlier, you know, he, he, he's absolutely right. We got to take better without without question. But we sit there and and we and, and we uh, uh, we, we take these medicines. We get sick, we take these medicines, right? When you take the medicines, there are these side effects. You see it on TV all the time. Well, your kidney will shut down. Yeah, you could die. And it, yeah, you know, have to tell you that. Arrest that doesn't mean it's, nece it's gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, no, no, it doesn't. They have to say those things. They That's the reality. They, they have to say it. say it. But I wouldn't want. I, I would not want to have to take any of that stuff. That do, that would have a side effect like that at all. Every medicine has side effects. Yeah, but Tell this me. is this is about saving uh, our lives. I mean, I get it that people don't want to that, take that's it. But geez, come I mean, on. I mean, I, as long as we keep having this kind of thinking, this this stuff right. is not going to go away. It's not. It's not our job or my job to convince you to take a vaccine. Right. That's not, not what I'm to, trying to do. The I'm thing trying to is, just be healthy. we know that there are consequences. Mm -hmm. We know that there are consequences for not taking it. Well, there are consequences for not doing. 
doing with, with property. Live from NPR this, News in Washington. Okay, caller, turn up for your city. Who are you and where are you calling from? I think that's the person that keeps calling and doesn't say anything. Yeah. 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 Yeah.